Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you're here today. In today's video, I'm just going to set up some new envelopes that I created and some inserts to go in these envelopes and other envelopes that I have. But before we start, please take 30 seconds of your time and subscribe to this channel. Press all on the notification bell in order to be notified each time I release a video. Feel free to say hello in the comments below, letting me know you were here today. Communicating with each other is the only way to help each other grow. Now let's get started with this video. Thank you so much for staying to watch the video. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be adding some envelopes to some of my binders and I decided to just make inserts. So what I did was just, I created envelopes or I made envelopes um, with no names on them. That's what I did because in the future, when I wanna change some categories or when I don't need some categories, I can just change my inserts and that's it. So all these envelopes, they have no names assigned. Like that, I can reuse them and they don't go to waste because um, the items that I buy to make the envelopes, they're not cheap, they're expensive, and I don't wanna have a one use only um, for them. So I decided to just make them blank. And instead, I made some inserts to go in my envelopes. So I am making some changes or I already have made some changes um, for some of the items. So right now, here I have one that's for exams. I made one for books, $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100 bills. This one is for my um, SUV payment. This one is for my husband's personal emergency. And then this is a new envelope that I made for hosting because we are planning to um, have different gatherings here at the house. So I do want to save money on the side for that because um, we like to have people over and um, I don't want them to bring anything unless they want to. So I'm going to save money here for anything that we may need. So like that, I don't have to ask for anything. So we're going to get started. I'm just going to leave the envelopes, the inserts to the side right here and put my envelopes on this side over here just so they they are out of my way. I do wanna say, if you are checking out my vase here with my flowers, these are made of Lego that my son um, gave to me and he thought it will go perfect with the setting that I have here in the office and or the setting that I have mostly in my YouTube area and it works out great. I made it yesterday and I absolutely love it. Like I said, everything is made out of Legos, if you can appreciate this a little bit. So this is a flower that's not opened, and then I have a white and a pink one already opened. I love it. So if you see it here on my video, it's a good reminder that my son gave it to me for the, for the channel. So let's go ahead and get started. First one that I want to work on is this one right here. This one is my uh, Bills binder. And for this one, it's the auto, this one right here. So I'm going to change this envelope. And I'm going to put one of the ones that I did. I'm sorry, that was my phone. We are in the middle of a tropical storm. Actually, it just turned like a couple of minutes ago into Hurricane Category 1. Um, so I'm getting a lot of messages for that. So my phone is going to be blowing off constantly <laughs> during the video, probably. So, um, so I apologize for that, for any distractions, but we do have to pay attention because a lot of uh, people that we know, they do have to evacuate their area. So they're expecting in my area up to eight feet of water. So um, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, going back into what we're talking about. I just changed the envelope and I just put the inserts and this one is for auto insurance deductible. So I want to save the um, deductible for our, um, for our insurance just in case anything happens and we need to have the insurance cover any fixing that the car needs in case of an accident. I wanna make sure that we have that money available. So that's what that is. So that's the only one that I needed to change here. I already had the insert made, so I just needed to update the envelope. 
and then we're going to go into one of my personal binders and we're going to change here this one that's hobbies so I'm gonna take my stuff out I already have the insert so I'm just gonna take this envelope out because it's that one is like the exact size that I need but I want to make it a little bit more flexible so that's why I made these envelopes so they're a little bit bigger and more flexible to open and of course I already had the insert so I don't have to worry about um, I didn't have to worry about making an insert for this one so this is for my hobbies that's one and then this is the other one this is for my husband so I'm just gonna take the things that I have here for him change the envelope for one that I made let me just close here and then I have my insert right here and then I have the money and I have a tracker here that is treat my spouse savings challenge five dollars um, once you're done you save up to you save two hundred dollars and this is I'm gonna start selling this one um, soon so stay tuned for that and that's gonna be all for this binder the next binder is gonna be this one right here so for this one I changed this one because I had one of these envelopes so I changed it to one of the ones that I made and it's very comfortable and I decided to change it because this is also a five dollar challenge and once it gets full it becomes a little bit too much I should maybe do a condensing here but for now I'm just waiting so I want it to be more flexible and I don't want to cut myself putting in the money and taking it out so this one makes it easier I made sure that I left enough space up here for anything that might be either taller or you know I like it better with the space I don't like it exactly at the line that I need it so that's why I made these envelopes and then this one I also made it because it had the other ones that I just showed you so and this one saves also $150 so it makes it more comfortable to have it here this one it's not new so here what I'm going to be changing is going to be um, this one's right here which the envelopes are also new but the the inserts are also new so this is for exams I had I don't know if you guys remember if you've seen my videos before I had a blue sticky here that said um, exams so I decided to just create an insert for it once I don't need the inserts anymore then I just can just put the insert away and I have an extra envelope to use for anything else and that's why I made the envelopes but right now this one is fully funded the money is in the bank and I'm just gonna put my insert here the difference with the inserts this one came out a little bit too light I don't know if you can appreciate that because it's that light and then I just made this one darker if you can see the difference and then I make the word exams um, in black because it's easier to see it here so that's what it looks like so this one is fully funded for now but I want to keep adding money just in case I have to retake the exams because the exams I need to pay $500 to take the exams so if I don't pass the exam then I have to I get two chances with 500 but if I don't pass I have to pay another 500 to get another two chances so I rather have backup money and not just have the exact um, if I do pass the exam then that backup money can be used for something else so this one is for books and I did the same change I made it darker and then I put the word books in black instead of just pink so I'm just gonna put it here and books I'm always gonna need because um, I'm in school right now if you guys don't know I'm in school right now for what I'm trying to do for work and I finished three classes I'm on my fourth class it's five classes total but the books are I, I want to get them now because I can get them on sale for $250 for three books if not they're almost 400 so yeah I want to start saving money for next year because these books they renew every October so for this year I'm late but for next year I want to start saving some money 
and I have an insert here just to get me started. This one is up to $32. And I have it backwards because it just it looks like it's too much. And here it looks better. And I have just a little bit of money there just to get me started. And I think that was all for this one. No, it's not. So here I have money saved. And I did not have inserts. I was just going by whatever my, my tracker says here. So I decided to make some inserts so I can just change my tracker to the back. And then just put my insert here. So here I'm saving $5. This one, I'm saving the $10. So I'm just gonna put this to the back and add my insert of $10 here. This one, I'm saving $20 bills. So I'm gonna put the insert in the front. And then for this one, I am saving the $50 bills. And I need to put a $100 um, insert here, or envelope. So I'm gonna use one of my new ones. And just put that one here. If it gets to be too much, then I'll just change it from one of the zipper ones. Because this is not money that is gonna go to the bank. It's gonna either be in the safe. This is emergency backup money that I have here. So that's gonna be all for this binder. This one is a little bit chunky, as you can see. Now we're gonna move on to my third personal binder. This one is my bills binder. And this one is just to create a backup uh, bill payment if I need it. So this one, I wanna change this one. This is, I have land in a different state and I'm saving the money here. So the insert was already made. So all I have to do is just transfer the insert and the money, which this one is due soon. I think it's due next month, the taxes for it, because the land is already paid, um, or paid for, I should say. And then here, I just want to change this one because this is an old insert that I had where I want to save money to pay off my car but this is just for the monthly payment. So I wanna start saving money just to have a backup payment. It's it's more than what I need to, um, but that's good. I wanna keep it that way. So then that's for my car. And then that's it for this binders. The next binder is going to be my husband's binder. And I added an envelope for him for like personal emergencies anything that he might need money for. So I'm gonna be also selling this one right here. It's a honeybee emergency fund for $500. I also have another one for a thousand and these ones are also gonna be on sale. Um, so I'm just gonna add one of my new envelopes and just add this here and add the insert that I made for him. There it goes. And then that's it for this one. The next one is going to be in our family binder. And this one is going to be the uh, hosting that I was telling you guys about. Almost broke my nail there. So now I just put the insert and now I have one for hosting. And then the last one I have is for home. I want to change some of the envelopes here just to make it more comfortable for um, inserting the money. This one's right here. So I'm gonna change the seasons envelope, which is this one. And I'm just gonna add one of mine. Actually, let me take this one out because that's the other one that I want to change. And I have already the insert, so I'm just gonna put that here. Put my get it done challenge, $1 challenge for this seasons. This will help me save up to $50. So far I have $10. And then for this one here, 
I already had the insert, so I did not have to make it. This one is for Black Friday sale. I don't have a lot of money in here yet, but we still have two months before Black Friday. Um, there's nothing that we want to buy, but just in case we do, I want to have extra money here. Right now, all I have is $15. And then this is our weather emergency envelope, um, which is empty right now because we are on a weather emergency right now with this storm or hurricane that's coming towards us it should be here by tomorrow night i think it is the sad thing is that every time we get a hurricane it comes at night time so either at night time or early in the morning this is going to be all for this video i want to thank you so much for staying till the end it means a lot to me go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet and click on the thumbs up and remember to keep organizing your life one day at a time i will see you in the next video hasta pronto adios